Alright, you know what it's time for? It's a nice, uh, nice weekend. It's time to get that chicken coop flipped over and uh, get it set up. Come on outside with me, let's get going. Coop pieces apart so I could get this piece right here flipped on over. I just did uh, shoshuji ban on the, on the legs, which is uh, the Japanese art of post-burning, basically, to protect wood. And I'm not really going to go into anything in detail about this. Um, quite a few uh, people have been doing this actually on their websites lately. So I'll say, um, how about Green Dream Project? Jim and Jess, they've been doing a bunch of this. I'll put a link up for their video. Check it out. But uh, I'm just doing this to keep the, keep the end grain safe when I set this thing on some, some blocks. That is very exciting. I dig down about six inches over here, sitting on the surface over there, so that'll help me uh, bury this edge of the fence pretty easily. The other side will have to build up a little bit, but now it's time to start putting the pieces together. Exciting now. So I'm standing in what will be the enclosed run, looking at the, the inside of the coop. The door will probably be right here, and the chicken's little ramp to get down into their outdoor run. This side over here will be the clean out door. So the wheelbarrow right up, right up against it. I will cut this sill plate out also so they can sweep right into the wheelbarrow. This side's our nesting boxes. And on this side is just going to be a, uh, a pair of vents so they can get some fresh air. Alright, I'm out here by the mill. I got all my tools out and I'm going to start cutting some logs so I can uh, finish up the, the lumber list for the for the chicken coop. Right over here I got all my parts out. Got my PV and my little log tongs and my gas and my oil and my level and my chainsaw and all that good stuff. So I'm going to roll out as many of these uh, logs side by side as I can. I'm going to put a flat top on all of them then put, a, put the sides on all of them all uh, kind of in sequence like a assembly line style if I can. Pulled a couple of logs off the pile, so I got five of them that are easy to work right now. These kind of small ones. Uh, most of these will probably end up being three two by sixes, I think. Not quite big enough for two by fours to get uh, two side by side. So I think these are going to be three two by sixes a piece when they're all said and done. So let's get these babies cut. Okay, got the first one all set up. I got the rails on there, nice and level, and uh, I've got my saw set for five and a quarter inches, which is the depth I need to clear the two by four and the metal bracket underneath it. All right, about five minutes to uh, mill that thing. Another five minutes to move the uh, to move the rails over the other log, and off I go with the saw again. With the uh, slabbing jig, getting the first the first cuts made on all six of these logs. I threw another one in because I had enough room over here to work with. So I've got six logs ready to cut the edges now. Put away the uh, first jig, set it aside. Have this two by six on here with an aluminum rail on it, on which. My saw rides now, and I'm going to cut the uh, side of the beam. All right, and I've got the edge of the sides put on three logs. I have three logs to go, and I have three pounds of sawdust in my underwear. All right, carrying on. Let's get this finished up. It took about two, two and a half hours, I would say, to uh, take the sides off of all of these beams. Now these are three-sided timbers, and uh, I need to change the change the chain. It's getting dull, so uh, I'll probably call it quits for the day. Here the next day, the saw is all sharpened. I've got it set up to make two inch two inch lumber so it's time to slice all these babies up all right been out here for a little over an hour an hour and a half i ripped up all my two by sixes got my first two by eight cut and i uh, got these two more logs to go but it's time to sharpen a chain i have a pile of two by eights and i'm gonna clamp these together with some clamps and then rip them down rip them right in half and make two by fours all right i've got my saw reset to a four inch four inch cut I've got all these uh, clamped together on both ends. You just got to be really careful where you put your clamps so you don't hit them with the saw. They are ripped. All right, let me get this stuff uh, moved out of the way and stacked up and clean up my tools. Got it all stacked up, and that's not half bad. I'd say all told, it took me um, two hours today and uh, maybe three hours yesterday, so about five hours to cut all this stuff up from uh, from rounds. Okay, everybody, this should give you a little better idea of what's going on now. After I'm done with all my milling work. These bricks represent where the posts are going to be for the outdoor run. And it's all going to be covered with a continuous roof that connects to this. So that'll be my next episode. 
digging in these six posts, getting ready to start building the roof structure and tying everything all together. All right, well, thanks a bunch for stopping by this time, guys. I know this wasn't really quite chicken coop building, but it's uh, part of the process I'm doing. So I uh, hope you liked it. And uh, don't forget, check out Jim and Jess. Uh, they had some great videos about Shoshuji Gun. I'm probably saying that wrong, but sorry. And um, yeah, I'll leave their link in the end card. And thanks for watching, guys. And uh, please come back soon and watch the rest of this thing go up.